All right. Today, I'm going to be talking you through a word problem, and we're going to be writing a linear equation. Now, the linear equation I'm going to do today is slope-intercept form. There's other ways to do it, true, but we're going to do it this way because this is one format that many people are familiar with and are used to working with. They're used to graphing with it, and they understand what the numbers mean and that type of thing. So we'll go ahead and use that for today. All right? So the first thing we need to do is understand our problem. We read it. We find that it's talking about the population of Laredo. We've got 215,000 people in 2007. We've got a num another number in 1990. And so we're talking about, as the years progress, the population is increasing. Okay. The next thing that we need to do is just kind of define our variables. Now, most of us are most familiar, especially with slope-intercept, which is y equals mx plus b, working with a y and an x. So we need to define what is our x and what is our y. Well, y depends on x. Okay. Now, therefore, that means we need to figure out which of our variables depends on the other. So we've got population and we've got the year. So which one of those depends on the other? Hopefully you figured out that the population depends on the year. Okay? Changing the population isn't going to make the year go up and down. But as the years progress, the population is increasing. Okay, so that's the first thing that we need to do. And here it says for years after 1990. So we're going to say years after 1990 because that will simplify things for us a little bit later on. So now we've identified our x and y. Yes, I know it tells us to use y for the number of years after 1990 and p for the population. But for now, we're going to use these x and y because that's how it fits into our equation. All right, so let's go through with it now. The next thing usually is to identify our data. In this case, my students usually like using x and y and just putting it into a table. Okay, so our first point is going to be in 1990, which is zero years after 1990. So that's going to be 123,000. Okay, and then the next one is going to be 2007. Now, if you subtract, you'll find that 2007 is 17 years after 1990 the population then being 215,000. Now, in our equation, we're going to need a slope, and we're going to need a y-intercept. Now, I have no idea how to get a y-intercept from two points other than maybe graphing it and figuring it out. Yeah, 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 this one's a little bit different, but we'll get to that later. But the slope is easy from two points, right? The slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so if we do that, we'll have 215,000. We'll subtract 123,000, and then we'll divide it by x2, which was 17, minus 0. So I'm going to pull up my handy-dandy calculator here, and I'm going to go 215,000 minus 123,000. Yeah, I can do that. And then that 92,000 I need to divide by 17 minus 0, which is 17. And I'm going to get 5411, blah, 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 blah. That really isn't all that important. What are a couple of people when we're talking about thousands here? I'm sure that it wasn't perfectly in thousands anyway. It does say about. So we're going to take this to be about 5,400. So our slope is about 5,400. You could use 5,410, 5,411, but whatever is fine. So now we've got y equals our slope times x plus b. Now from that point, we need to find out the y-intercept. Now, if you understand what the y-intercept is, you should know that the y-intercept is the value of y when x equals 0. So when x equals 0, that's our y-intercept. But if you didn't recognize that, then you could easily go ahead, plug two numbers into the equation. Let's do that. We'll put 0 in for x and 123,000 in for y. So we'll go 123,000 equals 5,400 times 0. That's my point, 0, 123 plus b. This goes away, 123,000 equals b. So my y-intercept is 123,000. So we'll rewrite our equation. y equals 5,400x plus 123,000. Then, of course, we have to put in the variables they want. They want population and years for x. 